Kate and William make decision that will change George's life forever. The Prince and Princess of Wales are known to be very protective over their three children, clearly wanting to steer them towards having as normal of a childhood as possible. The Prince and Princess of Wales reportedly only recently let their eldest son, Prince George, know of his future fate within the royal family. The young royal, who will turn ten later this week, is said to have been kept in the dark about being a royal and second in line to ascend the throne. It is said that during royal events, such as trooping the color, George would be told that everyone was clapping for his late great-grandmother, who he knew as gone gone. A royal source told Fabulous, they told him, anything royal, like the picture of the then monarch and her three heirs in Buckingham Palace, was done for her. They did not tell him until relatively recently that he will, one day, be king. The source added that this would done as a delicate balance to protect his childhood and innocence. The act of telling Prince George about his future prospects was also met with some challenges. They added, but also it meant explaining to him that his grandfather and father will die one day, which is a very tough concept for any child to grasp. It's also very tricky for what it means for his siblings, Charlotte and Louis. Prince George of Wales was apparently told about his destiny as England's future king just three years ago. George who will celebrate his 10th birthday on Saturday, was seven at the time of the conversation. Given he would have had inklings about the bizarre path that lay ahead much earlier than that, it's hard to imagine his parents not telling their eldest son sooner. Some might argue that conversation should have taken place when he was younger to better prepare him for schoolyard taunts, for example. But the Prince and Princess of Wales have been doing all they can to make Prince George experience a normal life as possible ever since he was born inside London's St. Mary's Hospital on July 22, 2013. Then known as the Duke and Duchess of Cambridge, Prince William and Catherine introduced their newborn son, and heir to the throne, to the world just one day later. In the decade that has passed since that iconic moment outside the hospital's famous Lindo Wing, Prince George has been gradually educated about his future within the monarchy. Just two months ago, Prince George took on his most prominent role yet as a page boy during the coronation of his grandfather King Charles III. It was George's debut on the world stage of sorts as he was required to take a key part in the historic ceremony which was broadcast around the world, the first coronation to take place in Britain in 70 years. His parents were said to have had doubts about putting their son into such a highly visible position, given the pressure he would face carrying the king's heavy robes into Westminster Abbey with the world's media focused on him. But the nine-year-old performed the job perfectly, a moment for the history books. The page boy job was the latest in a slow rollout of royal duties for Prince George. It's easy to forget George is so young given how grown up he appears at official events and how formal he looks at most of them. There was such an uproar when he wore a suit and tie to his first Wimbledon match in 2022 on what was a warm day for London. The prince has been in front of the cameras for all of his life, most of us remember where we were when he was born, but he is still displaying a shyness that should remind everyone he really is just a young boy. One with a very big future ahead. During a family visit to the Royal International Air Tattoo in Gloucestershire last week, Prince George was like a mini Prince William, both dressed in bell cachinos and brown suede brogues. But George, understandably for his age, lacks the confidence his father now has in droves. During his teenage years, Prince William was often known as the shy prince in comparison to his boisterous younger brother Prince Harry. When it came to farewelling the senior members of the RAF, Prince George appeared less engaged than his younger sister Princess Charlotte who enthusiastically shook hands with those presented before her. While Prince George is undoubtedly showing a newfound maturity and confidence, he still appears uncomfortable when put on show. It must be very strange for George, and other royal children, to be known to millions around the world. The royal children are carefully guarded from the public as much as possible with most of their engagements held away from large crowds. The coronation and the funeral of the late Queen being the two biggest exceptions of course. I was at five-year-old Prince Louis first, official, royal engagement on May 8, two days after the coronation, 
and it was held at the 3rd Upton Scouts Hut in Slough, just outside of London. Prince William and Kate, and their three children, were there to help repair the aging Scouts Hall and take part in some of the activities, including archery, as well. Seeing Prince George, Princess Charlotte and Prince Louis in person made me realize just how young they really are. It is hard to forget the trio are still very much children, as silly as that sounds. As they interacted with the other youngsters, I heard Prince William call out to his eldest son as simply George, which of course he would do.